Welcome back guys to the official first episode of the reimagining of the CCG episodes for the store. Yes, this is a Tuesday morning. We're back in here. This is the first day we're back. We don't have anything to put out uh, in our hold area, but I will guarantee you this week we're going to have tons of boxes of stuff to put out. And as you can see right there, that's all tax paperwork for the next couple hours. That's what I'm going to be working on. Yes, the fun stuff of running a business. So I know I showed a picture of this on Facebook, but guys, here is our hold area. All of this stuff right here is on hold. We have to hold it for 15 days. Today we didn't have anything going out, but I can guarantee you the next two to three days, probably half of this stuff is going to be coming out. So you'll get to see, I'll dig through it and show you all this stuff, new stuff that we put out. So guys, I am now going to get actually working on the taxes. So guys, it has been really busy today. It's like 3.30 right now. We're closing in. We're really close to $300 so far. Um, we've had like eight sales so far. Don't expect it to always be like this. Sometimes Tuesdays can be really busy. Sometimes they can be slow. Wednesday and Thursday are normally fairly slow too. Uh, but we'll see what happens. A few things we've sold here in the last few hours. Our first sale of the day was a monster one. It was probably about 80% of our sales for today. They picked up Mafia 3 for the PS4, one of the new games I got in. He picked up Angry Birds Trilogy, as well as Burnout Paradise uh, City for the PS3. He then picked up two PS3 aftermarket controllers and the PS4 controller that I just put out last week as well. We then had one of our regulars come in with his mom. They picked up an N64 with like four games and a controller. I think three of them were uh, wrestling games. We then sold seven Skylanders. I got some people hooked on Skylanders. They traded a whole bunch of stuff in and got three of the different games, the starter packs, for the Xbox 360. And they've been buying, coming in and buying um, Skylanders from us. Then we also sold a first-party GameCube controller as well as a Super Nintendo controller. So, guys, if anything else sells, anything else inter interesting happens, I'll let you know. And yes, we bring a couple of our dogs with us. This is Daisy. This is our personal greeter. As you can see, she is doing her job well right now. Here is our guard dog. This is Khaleesi. How you doing, Khaleesi? She pretty much lets everybody know this is her place and not to try to come back here. Pretty funny, actually. <laughs> but she's still really cute. Well, I have decided to turn my trade credit in. I turned a copy of Super Mario 64 in last week. Uh, and I decided to go ahead and get some games. I picked some NES games that I did not have in my collection. Uh, first, we got Rampage. Everybody's going to have a copy of Jaws in their collection. This one's a little beat up, but at some point I may try to upgrade when a new version or a new copy comes in. And the last one is Romance of Three Kingdoms, another strategy game for the NES. So, yep. I'm kind of happy to add some more NES games into my collection. I had two copies of Super Mario 64 for some reason, a loose copy and a complete box, so I turned the loose copy in. So guys, at 7 o'clock, we're going to go ahead and get the heck out of here. We end up about 3.40 today. At the very end, some people came in and picked up Gauntlet and Clash at Demon Head for the NES with an NES controller. So now, guys, here is Wednesday. So guys, it is Wednesday morning. We just got into the store, about to open the doors, but... Yes, Wednesday, so I went out to the Wednesday flea market. You're going to see all of, all this stuff in a clip probably on Thursday uh, before this video goes up next Tuesday. So here's the stuff. I'm just going to do a little small breakdown so you get to see the stuff. So here's the stuff, guys. Like I said, you're going to see this in just a couple days. This will be <laughs> way behind, but at least you get to see it on the day that I actually pick the stuff up. So I promise you some stuff was going to come out. So here is the first group of stuff today that comes out. Didn't even realize this was coming out, to be honest. We went back there and saw it. Uh, we've got some PSP games, Godfather, Lumines, PS2, Max Payne 2, Castlevania 2 for the NES, Zelda Link Between Worlds for the 3DS. Then we've got some Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. A couple of really good ones in here. Metroid Fusion, fortunately the label's a little torn up. Japanese version of Mega Man 2, Dragon or uh, Double Dragon, Quicks, that's a Wizard and Warriors game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Castlevania Adventure, so yeah, some pretty decent stuff. So yes, my wife found another box of stuff. This is some of the better stuff out of it. We've got two Genesis Model 1 systems, controller and the hookups, as well as a Sega Master System 2. I've had one already. 
Cannot believe I've had two in the last three or four months come into the store, which is crazy. Very uncommon. You don't see them very often, and they're kind of pricey as well. Well, it's been raining all day, and we've not had hardly any customers. I think two people have come in so far. One of them brought some stuff, and we did a little trade. Wanted to get an N64 controller, and I was able to get enough out of the stuff he brought to get him one. Here's the stuff he brought in. He got a Super Mario World. NFL Quarterback Club 2000, pretty much a garbage game. Dr. Mario in a sleeve. And a component Xbox 360 cable. So, fortunately now that stuff's got to go in the back. we got to hold it for 15 days before we can put it out. It'll be nice once the Mario uh, World comes out because it'll sell almost immediately. So, I saw these games. These were part of the lot with the Genesis and Master System. I thought these were definitely worth showing. There's some deep, decent stuff in here. We've got Spyro New Beginning for the Xbox. Super Monkey Ball Deluxe for the Xbox, Dragon Warrior 8 or Dragon Quest 8, and it's uh, it's the one with the two discs with the, um, I think it's Final Fantasy 12 um, demo. We've got Killer 7 for the PS2, a really great copy of Kingdom Hearts for the PS2, Dark Watch for the PS2. We've got Armored Core for the PS1 and San Francisco Rush 2049. For the Dreamcast, sealed copy of Dark Siders 2 for the Xbox 360. This is a kind of weird one. NCA Basketball 10. It's actually kind of pricey. I don't know why. Probably because it was the only year maybe they made it for the 360. Then we've got two or three loose GameCube games. We've got Pac-Man World 2, uh, Final Fantasy Chronicles, as well as a copy of Zelda Four, Sor Four Swords for the GameCube as well. So guys, we just took a trade in. Got quite a bit of stuff, mostly Xbox, PS2, or Xbox 360, Xbox, PS2, GameCube games. Some decent stuff in here as well as a few strategy guides. Got a broken PS2 with all the hookups. I didn't pay a lot for, but I'll take a look at it and see if it's an easy fix or not. So yeah, it was actually a pretty decent pickup. So guys, at 7 o'clock, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we ended up about 160 today, unfortunately. All of about 40 of that was trades so we didn't actually get physical money for that people took stuff and we got stuff from them uh, so we'll have to see how thursday is welcome back everyone it is thursday here in the store currently it's like three o'clock we're sitting around eighty dollars right now we had a few people come in maybe five or six so far nobody's bought anything really big but we've had some new people come in which is always nice to have new customers come in that have never been in our store before Guys, we have got a ton of stuff that we're putting out currently right now. I've already got some stuff ready, so let me show you uh, in pieces what we're putting out today and tomorrow. So guys, here is round one of some of the really cool stuff that we got. We got Tony Hawk Ride with the board and adapter. Does work for the Wii. Got a Wii system all bundled up. We got a Jungle Green N64 with all the hookups and one controller. Pro Controller. We got a couple N64 games. GoldenEye, Castlevania, and... A golf game, not even going to try to say that name. Memory expansion, got a couple of DS games here, a couple of Mario DS games. Rock Band sealed for the DS, GameCube, memory card, and we got a couple of PC games here. Probably the best one is um, Knights of the Old Republic 2 Sith Lords. We then have some Genesis games, High Seas Havoc, probably the most expensive out of that lot. Got a good old Super Mario Dunk Hunt Track Meet loose cart. Got a few. Um, GameCube games here are that are loose. We've got a Star Fox Adventure Sims 2 Pets. And a Scooby-Doo game. I think that's Knights of 100 Frights. We do have some boxed ones. We've got Mario Golf, Team NT, and Sonic Mega Collection. Then we have some PS2 games and PS3 games here. Nothing really fancy there. And some Xbox and Xbox 360 games. Again, probably the best one. In this lot is the, um, I'd say Red Dead Revolver is probably the best besides the Battlefront game. And there's a combo Viva Pinata and a Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts a copy for the 360 as well. So guys, here is round two. I think this is all we're going to get done today. All I had left was a couple PS2s and a Dreamcast to test. Do got a good stack of games we need to clean. So let's go get going here. Here is a 250 gig PS2 or PS3 Slim. Great shape. Does work. I've tested it. Got a couple Wii games here. We've got Punch Out and New Super Mario Brothers. Long 360 game, but it's like a $20 game. Battle for Middle Earth 2, Lord of the Rings. We've got Knights of the Old Republic for the original Xbox. 
Tom and Jerry Ward the Whiskers, like a $15 to $20 game. Got Dragon Quest 8, Scooby Doo, and Battlefront 2 for the PS2. Got a couple GameCube games. The best one is Super Smash Bros. Melee. Actually has its manual inside of it. Then we have got some PS2 games. Again, probably the best one, for me at least, is Capcom Classics Collection. Love that game. Well, guys, it's 7 o'clock. We ended up about 106 today. We had six to eight people come in today. Just not, nobody bought anything really big. You know, it happens sometimes. Uh, during the week, it normally is a little bit slow. So, guys, here comes Friday. Welcome back, guys. It is Friday. Don't have a lot of stuff to put out today, but today I'm mostly going to be cleaning uh, discs. we got quite a few that still need to be cleaned. A whole bunch that came in yesterday. That lot that we went out needed to be cleaned. Also got some systems I need to test from yesterday, that lot that came out as well. I got a couple PS2s, GameCube, maybe even a Dreamcast. So let's see uh, how today takes us, guys. Well, it is 4 o'clock. We're only sitting at about $50 right now. It has been pretty slow today. Weather's been pretty good outside. Uh, hopefully some more people will come in before we leave. A few things we sold here in the last few hours. We sold a tarot card set, uh, the Card Captor Sakura, the anime. We sold those. I think we sold a Final Fantasy XII game. A gentleman, and you know, a kid with his mother came in. One of our regulars came in, traded in a whole bunch of stuff to us. It's about twenty-eight dollars worth of stuff. He took um, a, one of the RPGs for the N64, something Chronicles, like Aiden Chronicles, I believe, as well as Xena Warrior Princess for the N64 as well. So again, been real slow, but I did get all the systems tested. Also got a whole bunch of games cleaned, tested, and out on the shelf as well. So. If anything else sells, guys, or anything else happens, I'll let you know. Well, guys, at 7 o'clock, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We ended up at 81. Still not great, but somebody uh, came in. A couple people actually came in. One picked up uh, the Super Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. Then somebody came in and picked up Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3. Yes, those are the ones we just got at Wednesday at the flea market. So now, guys, here comes Saturday. Welcome back, everyone, to a really slow Saturday. I believe it's like 3 o'clock right now. We're sitting on like $16. We only had a couple people come in. I think somebody came in and picked up um, a Monster High game for the DS Complete in Box. It just so happens she was looking at the spot next to us. So she may be putting a store in next to us. Really hope that goes through. Get more people coming into this plaza. Also, we had one of our regulars come in and pick up an Xbox 360 charge cable brand new. So guys, if anything else sells, I'll let you know. Well, it's like 5 o'clock. We're sitting at 105. Went up just a little bit. Somebody came in and picked up a Super Nintendo system from us. They also picked up Metroid for the NES and Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. Then we had a couple come in, picked up Mortal Kombat 2 for the Game Boy. They picked up Forza 2 for the 360, as well as two comics. So we didn't have a lot of stuff go out today. We probably put about 60 DVDs out. Nothing spectacular, but I did put out a new 3DS XL, which is really cool. Um, got that in a couple weeks ago. Really nice to see that go out. That's probably the most expensive system we've got out right now. It's like 150. I think GameStop only sells them for about 170 used. So guys, if anything else sells or interesting happens, I'll let you know. All right, guys, it's seven o'clock. We're gonna go ahead and get the heck out of here. We had one sell from like six to seven. It was God of War two for the PS2. They got us to what 111. Yeah, not great. But I got some really cool stuff to show you guys uh, when we get here on Sunday morning. Welcome back, guys. It is Sunday morning. I promise you it's a whole bunch of stuff we'll be putting out today. So let me show you at least the start of it. We haven't got it all done yet, but we did get quite a few things done uh, on Saturday evening before we left. First, let's start with some TV box set. We've got the complete series of True Blood. Pretty cool to get this in. I don't think we've had True Blood uh, TV series in here yet. Then we've got some Wii games. Actually, some pretty good ones. Mario Strikers Charge, Donkey Kong Country Returns, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, Super Mario uh, Slugger, Super Sluggers, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. All really good stuff. And a couple of just generic box sets. We've got the Paranormal Activity, first three movies. We have got uh, C one of the, I think it's the first season of CSI, and then like an eight movie uh, set as well. So guys, here's the rest of the stuff that uh, we are putting out today. We got Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii, Metal Gunner for the GameCube. We got a few PS3 games and a whole bunch of original Xbox games. Didn't realize the Scooby-Doo games were worth as much as they were. Kind of crazy. Need for Speed Carbon, Harry Potter, and a Xbox exclusive sneakers. We also put about 50 uh, DVDs out as well. 
Well guys, it is 2 o'clock. We are setting like around $40. It's been pretty slow today. A few things we have sold though. We sold WWF Warzone for the PS1, Black, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the PS2, the God of War Trilogy for the PS3, and then Gotcha and Xenophobe for the NES. So yes, this is the last day for this video. Guys, if anything else sells, I'll let you know. Well, it is 4 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We had a family come in and spent about $30 with us, so it got us up to $70 for today. The mom got uh, Chicago and Peter Cetera music CDs. One of the sons got a GameCube controller. The other one got uh, Kingdom Hearts for the PS2. And then they also got a $1.99 DVD for us, guys. So, again, thanks for watching.